Hello, uh, I am Pierfranco Conte. I am a medical oncologist working in Padua, Italy, and I will present uh, today a task of a 10 year update of a shorter randomized trial. This is a phase three non inferiority trial comparing nine weeks of trastuzumab uh, given with chemotherapy to the standard one year trastuzumab plus chemotherapy. The patients eligible in the trial had to add to have either a not positive disease or a not negative disease with a tumor size larger than two centimeters plus at least one more risk factor including a grade three or R2 hormone receptor status negativity or Ki67 more than 20 percent uh, lymphovascular invasion present or uh, younger than 35 years of age. The trial again was comparing chemo uh, plus nine weeks versus chemo plus uh, one year uh, trastuzumab. Also, the two uh, chemo regimens were different because the chemo in the short treatment arm consisted in six courses of chemotherapy, while in the long treatment arm, a classic four courses of chemotherapy. So, there was also less chemotherapy in the short treatment arm. The study was initially presented at ASCO in 2017. At the time, the median follow-up was 5%, and we couldn't claim the non-inferiority according to the frequentistic approach because the upper limits of the confidence interval crossed 1.29, which was the predefined limit to claim for non-inferiority. However, already at the time, according to the pre-planned Bayesian analysis, the probability that uh, nine weeks were not inferior to one year was 78 percent. Now, uh, at ASCO 2023, we present the second co-primary endpoint of the study, which is overall survival, and the updated disease-free uh, survival at 10 years, according also to the nodal status, node uh, negative, node one, two, three positive lymph nodes, and four or more positive lymph nodes. The median follow-up is now uh, nine years. At 10 years, the disease-free survival on the, on the long treatment arm is 78%. The 10-year disease-free survival on the short arm is 79%. The overall survival on the long treatment at 10 years is 89%. On nine weeks is 88%. The hazard ratio is uh, 1.09, but again, unfortunately, the upper limit uh, of confidence still crosses the predefined limit to, uh, def to claim for non-inferiority. But again, according to the pre-planned Bayesian analysis, the probability that the nine weeks are not inferior to one year is now 93.2%. According to the <coughs> subgroup analysis, there is no difference across the two treatment arms uh, in, uh, according to age and the hormone receptor status, no difference for stage one and the stage two disease, no difference for uh, not negative and not from one to three positive lymph nodes. There is uh, an advantage from one year trastuzumab for patients with stage three disease and for patients with four plus uh, positive lymph nodes. The clinical uh, consequences of this study, of course, this doesn't change the standard of care in Western countries and the US because we, were, we are not able to claim for non-inferiority. But I think that uh, there are two main uh, clinical values in the study. First of all, if for any reason, even in Europe and US, a patient with a not negative or with up to three positive lymph nodes has to stop trastuzumab uh, earlier because maybe a decline in the left, uh, left ventricular ejection fraction or an, an intercurrent disease or simply lack of compliance. Uh, physicians can be quite reassured by this data that this doesn't compromise the outcome of a patient. And even more important, I believe that this data might be extremely useful for the vast majority of the women worldwide who cannot afford, uh, mainly for economical reason, the cost of one year trastuzumab. For many of these women, probably nine weeks would be an affordable treatment and by sure also an effective treatment.